But defeats Sebastian Formella. I've not seen much of Formella at all. In fact, this is my first time seeing him, but I always see him like on Instagram and stuff like that, on social media, but I've not really seen him in fights before. So I didn't really know what to expect going to this fight. This fight was an IBF eliminator, so the winner of this fight is going to be mandatory for Earl Spencer's IBF belt. Spencer's fighting Danny Garcia. I, I'm not sure when it is. I think it's... It might be October or November when he's fighting Danny Garcia, so it's still got quite a ways. I'm not sure when the IBF mandatory is meant to be called, but Sean Paul got a W. I scored it. I gave every single round to Porter. Formella is tough. Sean Paul on Sean Porter. Sean Porter, like, he does what he did. He's aggressive. He comes forward. He throws combinations. And it worked out well for him. Formella was doing all right at the start. It wasn't even, but he was doing a bit better. But as it went on, the Porter was just a far better fighter. And again, Formella was tough. Like There were some rounds, like I think it was like the ninth or 10th round, where Porter was just aggressive. Hitting combinations, uppercuts, hooks. And Formella was just eating the punches. Now, I'm not sure if that's more testament to maybe Sean Porter not having that much punching power because I don't see him as a puncher, I never have, or just for me being extremely tough. But that was a um, good showing for Porter. He hasn't fought since the Errol Spence fight, if I'm not mistaken. So it's good for him to get out there and, fight and, and get back to winning ways. The Errol Spence fight was a great fight. Um, he did well in that fight. He obviously lost it by a couple points, but it was still a close fight between him and him and... Um, him and Spence, but yeah, congrats, congratulations to uh Porter again. Uh, for me, won every single round. He moves to thirty three one on one now. Who was his draw against Porter? Porter's draw. I know his loss against Kel Brook, Spence, and Furman. But who was his draw against? I forgot. But yeah, shout out to Porter. Good W. Uh, box great. And by the way, before I go, he looked great in this fight. That uh, Porter looked great. Like, like, his conditioning, everything was great. Like, I'm watching it right now. I'm, I'm looking at him. The guy, the fight is finished. And Porter threw so many. I think Porter must have threw with over 800 punches. The guy doesn't even look tired. Porter's conditioning was great. I know he had a long time to prepare because of the pandemic and all. But, man, again, Porter, fantastic shape, man. Porter, I know he said that one time on the interviews, a podcast, he's not... He's, he, I, I know he's saying... He's on the box for too long. Maybe he's got a couple more years. Maybe like two or three years back in boxing for his, I think about call it a day. But again, Porter looked fantastic. So shout out to Porter. Big W. Can't wait to see who's going to find next. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.